Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Mrs. Shaw, for those of you that don't know, but you should know that. Anyways, today I am going to be teaching you all about insects. Now, if you take a look at my shirt, I don't know, I know the screen's kind of small, but I wore an insect shirt, and on the back it says, in the rainforest, in one square mile, there are about 50,000 species of insects. Isn't that crazy? I think it's crazy. So we're gonna start out by going over some insect facts. So if you look at the screen, it says all about insects. I see a girl holding a jar of ladybugs, and then this is like a cartoon picture, and then I see a real life photo of a ladybug. Let's see what the facts tell us. Insects, ant, a grasshopper, a ladybug, and a moth. Insects are cold-blooded. Not like humans. Humans are warm-blooded. We can keep ourselves warm. Cold-blooded um, animals cannot. They need to find heat in places like the sun or sometimes inside your house. Oh, creepy. They have an exoskeleton, like their um, hard outer covering. They come from eggs. They have six legs, antenna, three body parts, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen, and some have wings. Let's talk about the ant. Now, each insect is going to talk about their habitat, their diet, their young, and a fun fact. A habitat is where an animal lives. Where do you live? In a house or an apartment. The habitat of an insect is where it lives. So the habitat of an ant is soil and small cracks in homes. I see them outside all the time. We saw them on the field at recess. Do you remember they'd have their little homes and the little dirt mounds? And if you got too close to one, they try to protect their home. So stay away from the ant piles. Their diet is what they eat. What do you eat? Ants diet or what they eat, they eat human food. Like if you're outside having a picnic and some of your food um, gets close to an ant, they will crawl on it and they will eat it and try to bring it back to their colony. They also eat dead insects and plants. What do you think this ant is trying to eat? The leaf. All right, the young. Eggs are moved up and down in the nest to control their temperature. Most ants are born worker ants. Fun fact, an ant can lift 20 times their own body weight. Queen ants have wings. Pretty neat. Let's learn about another insect. Ooh, a cricket. Remember, the habitat is where it lives. The cricket's habitat is fields, gardens, and forests. Their diet, they eat plants. When they're young, they're called a nymph, and when they are born, they do not have wings yet. So the baby crickets don't have wings. They don't get those until they're an adult. Fun fact, a cricket can jump 20 times the length of their body. That's crazy. Could you imagine if you laid down on the ground and you're like measuring, you started at the starting point and you marked where you ended. You got to, um, you laid down again and did that 20 times and you could jump that far. I think I can only jump one or two times of me. That's crazy. When they rub their legs together, they also, um, that's when you hear the chirp sound. Ladybug. I know a lot of you like when the ladybugs land on you. A lot of, some people say that means good luck. Habitat. The ladybug's habitat is forests, meadows, weed patches, and gardens. The reason they live the, um, in those places is because they eat aphids. Aphids are a small green insect that live on plants. So that's why ladybugs need to live in gardens or meadows. They're young. The larvae hatch from eggs in 10 days or less. Fun fact, ladybugs can be yellow, orange, or red with spots. Sometimes they're even all black. 
Have you seen a ladybug that was yellow or orange? Most of the ones I've seen are red. Ooh, butterfly. A butterfly's habitat is anywhere near plants. Butterflies drink the nectar from the flowers. If you watch the insect experiment, you'll learn more about nectar and the pollination of plants. They eat nectar and fruit juices. The young begin as caterpillars. When they hatch, they eat their eggshells. Isn't that crazy? Then the caterpillars make the pupa and then they turn into a butterfly. Fun fact, some can fly 37 miles per hour. That's pretty quick. When they first emerge from their chrysalis, their wings are wet. Do you think they can fly when they first come out of their chrysalis? No, they have to let their wings dry and then they fly away. Moth. Now, a moth and a butterfly are kind of similar, but they have some differences too. Their habitat is uh, near trees or anywhere near plants. They also drink nectar, diet, nectar from flowers. Their young begin as caterpillars. Then they pupate in the ground before emerging as a moth. Fun fact, moths like to hide during the day and come out at night or dusk or early morning. So a lot of the times you'll see moths flying around um, the light, maybe outside of your house, or if you, like I live in an apartment, so there are big tall lights outside my apartment that a lot of the moths fly around at night. The street lights, that's what they're called. Ooh, a bee, bees are super helpful. Bees, they live in a hive built anywhere except Antarctica, so they can live all over the world. What they eat, pollen and nectar from flowers. They're young. Once they hatch, they clean up the hive. Fun fact, they use their special tongue to sip nectar. Now their tongue is in their mouth and when they um, drink the nectar, it comes out. My brother actually has a beehive up in Pennsylvania. Pretty cool, right? All right, next we are going to read a story about insects. Yes, I'm still here. It's called Insects. The author is Martha E. I think that's an H or W. Rusted. What kind of insect is on the front cover? A dragonfly. We have a lot of those in Florida. Move this out of the way so I can see. There we go. Look around for insects. Insects live everywhere in the air, in the water, on the ground, and in the dirt. Take a look around you. Do you see an insect? Have you seen an insect sitting in the sun? Insects are cold blooded. The sunlight warms their bodies. An insect's body. An insect is an animal with three body sections. The head, the thorax, which is in the middle part of the body, and the abdomen. An insect's stomach is inside the abdomen. You'd think it would be up here, but it's not so. The six legs stick out from its thorax, so all the legs are attached to this part of the insect. The exoskeleton protects the insect's body. The exoskeleton is like a hard shell. Like, you know when you wear a helmet when you're riding your bike? It's kind of like that for the insect. Antenna point out from its head. The world contains more insects than any other animal. Scientists have found more than 1 million kinds of insects and they expect to find more. That is a lot of insects. Isn't that crazy? What do you think she's doing with the net? Catching bugs. What kind of bug do you think she'll collect? I notice a lot of flowers. There's probably a lot of different kinds of insect species um, living on the flowers. Ancient insects. 
Earth has been home to insects for a long time. Scientists have found insect fossils that are millions of years old. Many ancient insects looked like insects today, but some ancient insects were big. Their wings stretched as wide as 2.5 feet. Ooh, that's creepy. Could you imagine that flying at you? This is a fossil of a midge insect. Looks like it is inside amber. Imagine an insect as wide as a school desk. What is not an insect? People call lots of animals bugs, but many are not insects. Spiders are not insects. Spiders have two body sections and eight legs. How many body sections does an insect have? Three, head, thorax, abdomen. Ticks are not insects. Eight legs stick out from their bodies. How many legs does an insect have? Six, remember they're connected to the thorax. Millipedes are not insects. They crawl on as many as 400 legs. That one's a creepy crawly for sure. Metamorphosis, ooh, say that word. Metamorphosis, metamorphosis. An insect's body changes as it grows. Most insects go through four changes. These changes are called metamorphosis. Here is a metamorphosis of a seven-spotted lady beetle. Larva, egg, the larva is crawling out. The seven-spotted lady beetle begins as an egg. The larva hatches from the egg. Larva look like tiny worms. Two, larva. The larva eats and grows. It molts when it outgrows its exoskeleton. Molt means to shed its outer covering. Pupa. The larva mutes, the larva molts into a pupa. Inside, its body changes. The adult beetle breaks out of the pupa. Four, adult. A female adult mates and lays eggs. The life cycle begins again. So it goes from four all the way back to one and it's, the process starts over. This says dragonfly nymph. Some insects such as grasshoppers and dragonflies go through only three stages, egg, nymph, and adult. A nymph looks like a small adult. So if you look, it does kind of look like a dragonfly with no wings. Insect senses, oh my goodness. Seeing. Most adult insects see the world through different types of eyes. Tiny single eyes see light and dark. Huge compound eyes have many small lenses. Each lens sees a different part of the picture. One compound eye of a dragonfly may have 28,000 lenses. Hearing. Most insects hear well. Some gather sounds with round ears called tympana. Others use hairs on their antenna to hear. Touching, so it is see, hear, touch. Ooh, the five senses. Insects feel with tiny strands that look like hair. Tasting and smelling. Many insects use the strands on their antenna for smelling and tasting. Some insects even have them on their feet. If you take a look at this bee, there are the tiny hairs on its feet and they have their antennas. If you watch the experiment, you'll learn more about those little hairs too. Sensing chemicals. These strands also sense chemicals. Chemicals can help insects communicate. They use chemicals to find mates and food. Ants. That's a lot of ants. Ants work. Each ant has a different job. The queen lays eggs. Worker ants feed young ants and build nests. Soldier ants protect the nest. Ant colonies live in nests. One nest might be home to a million ants. How many people live in your house? In this house, there might be a million. That's crazy. A troop of ants work together and move a fly. So they're going to eat another insect. Ants build nests from dirt, leaves, or woods. Ant nests made of wood. So this one is made of wood. The ones we see at school are mostly made out of the dirt and sand. An ant colony has one queen, but sometimes a colony makes a new queen. They fly off to start new ant colonies. 
So the worker ants do not have wings, but the queen ant does. Bees. Bees buzz. They gather nectar and pollen from flowers. Some kinds of bees live in large colonies. Hives may have up to 80,000 bees. Adults take care of the young bees. Other kinds of bees live alone. They lay eggs in nests. The bees leave food for their young. Then they leave the nest. Honeybees collect nectar in honeycombs. Mixed with the bee's saliva, nectar turns into honey as it dries. Carpenter bee. An insect's egg can be smaller than a period on this page. One of the largest insect eggs belongs to the carpenter bee. It is 0.64 inches long. Beetles. Beetles battle. Rhinoceros beetles fight over food and mates. So this must be the rhinoc uh, not rhinoceros beetle. It even looks like it has the um, horn. Ladybugs gobble. They also they are also called ladybird beetles. Most ladybugs eat other insects called aphids. If you look right here, you'll see a small green aphid that's living on a plant. That's what ladybugs eat. Fireflies flash. The lights on these beetles signal other fireflies. Four wings stick out for most beetles. Two hard top wings protect the beetles, two soft bottom wings. So the exoskeleton is like hard wings and underneath of those wings are the um, soft wings. Beetles fly with the two bottom wings. There are about 360,000 kinds of beetles. Butterflies and moths. Moths and butterflies flutter by. Strong muscles power delicate wings. Colorful scales cover their wings. Butterflies and moths suck plant juices with a proboscis. This mouth part looks like a straw. So sometimes if you look real close at a butterfly, it's like a curled up straw. And when they drink, the it straightens out so they can get the nectar. Like a, sometimes you might put a straw in your drink. Butterfly or moth. Here are some ways to tell the difference between a butterfly and a moth. Butterflies, bright colors. Moths, dull colors. Bright orange, dull brown. Knob at the end of each antenna. Can't really see it in this picture, but you can in this one. It's like a little small knob. Feathery antenna for the moths. So it might look like little hairs coming off of it. Butterflies, wings held up at rest. Moths, wings held out to rest. Butterflies, awake during the day. Moths, awake at night. Butterflies molt into a chrysalis. Moths spin a cocoon. Some moths and butterflies break these rules. There are butterflies with dull colored wings and moths that are awake during the day. Cockroaches. Ugh. Mrs. Shaw does not like cockroaches. They, they scare her. I know in um, our classroom, there was one and Miss Sarah had to come save the day and squish it for Mrs. Shaw. So thank you, Miss Sarah. Cockroaches scurry. They hide during the day. At night, they, came, they come out to eat. Cockroaches run away fast if they sense danger. Cockroaches often live near people. Food crumbs, clothes, and paper taste good to them. Tough pests. A cockroach could live up to a month without food. It can live two weeks without water. It can even live without its head for up to a week. So if its head gets chopped off, it can live up to a week. How many days are in a week? Seven. Dragonflies. Dragonflies zoom up and down. They even hover and fly backward. Their strong jaws chomp insect snacks in midair, but adult dragonflies don't bite people. So you don't need to be scared of them when they fly near you. Dragonflies live near water. Female dragonflies lay eggs in or near water. Young dragonflies live underwater and they breathe with gills, just like a fish. But as an adult, they don't have the gills. Flies. Flies fly. A fly buzzes around on two wings. Scientists think sticky feet help flies walk on ceilings. Flies eat only liquids. They spit up their solid food. Then they suck it back up as liquid. Mosquitoes are a kind of fly. They often bother people. I know when I go outside to walk my dogs at night, 
I come back inside with at least one or two bug bites from a mosquito. Females drink blood from people and other animals. Their eggs need blood to grow. If you think you're too small to make a difference, you haven't spent a night with a mosquito. It's an African proverb or saying. Female flies lay hundreds of eggs in their short lives. Grasshoppers. Grasshoppers hop. Long legs push them high and far. Wings sometimes help them go even farther. Grasshoppers chomp. They eat many different kinds of plants. Male grasshoppers sing to females. They rub their legs against their wings to make the chirping sound. Insects and humans. Insects sometimes hurt people. Flies spread diseases. Swarms of grasshoppers eat crops. That's fields of food. But insects also help us. Bees move pollen from one flower to another. Without their help, many plants could not grow. Beetles break down dead plants. They help make soil rich again. Insects outnumber humans. Scientists think for each human, there are 200 million insects. We must live together and share this planet. The end. Now we're gonna go back, move this back down. Oops. Now, after learning about insects, let's do this insect sort. It says insect sort. Insects, not insects. So we're looking for insects that have the three main body parts, six legs, antennas. Is this an insect? Thumbs up if it is, thumbs down if it's not. A, yes, a grasshopper or a cricket, cricket is an insect. What about a hen? Does a hen have six legs? Nope, a hen has two legs. What about this? Is this an insect? How many legs? One, two, three, four, five, six, and some wings and antenna. So this is an insect. What about this? Nope, I see one, two feet and two arms. That is not an insect. What about a sheep? Does a sheep have six legs and antenna? No. What about a whale? Nope, a whale lives in the water. You can have insects that live in the water too, but a whale is a mammal. What about this insect, or this? Oh, I gave it away. Yes, it's an insect. And a butterfly. Yes, we learned that a butterfly is an insect. So let's check, were we right? Grasshopper cricket, this must be a fly, ants, and a butterfly. We were right. Next, let me rotate the screen. Let's see, did that help? Yes. I am going to read some things about insects. If you think that if if you think that it's true, give me a thumbs up. If you think that it's not true, give me a thumbs down. When we're done, we'll check your answers. So insects have six legs. Is that true or false? All insects have wings. Think about it. Do all insects have wings? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Insects hatch from eggs. True, false. Insects have four antenna. True or false. Insects are cold blooded. They need this, do they need the sun or a heat source to keep them warm? Insects have feathers. Do they have feathers? Insects have exoskeletons. All insects have five eyes. True or false? Let's check your answers. All right, so our true ones were insects have six legs, insects hatch from eggs, insects are cold-blooded, insects have an exoskeleton. The ones that were not true. 
to scroll up. There we go. All insects have wings. They do not all have wings. Insects have four antenna. How many antenna do insects have? Two. Insects have feathers. No, who has feathers? Birds. All insects have five eyes. No, they do not all have five eyes. All right, that's all I have for our video on insects. Now, if you go to your teacher's webpage, you will find links to go to some YouTube videos. You're going to be watching the All About Insects video. You are going to learn how to draw an ant. You can watch my insect experiment and try it at home. And then you will be completing the insect focus activity, which will also be linked um, on your teacher's website. So that's all I have for today's insect activity. Do you have a favorite insect from today? What one? All right, it was nice to see you and I will talk to you later. Bye.